Thank you. So shall I start from the beginning? Yes, you need to start from the beginning. So before you start your presentation, I would like to give a brief introduction to the audience about you. So after that, you can start your presentation. Okay, lovely. So yes, so ladies and gentlemen, it is with great enthusiasm and a sense of profound discovery that we welcome to the stage the remarkable Kay Doran, a true luminary in the world of self-discovery. Kay brings an unparalleled blend of wisdom, authenticity, and a quest for truth that transcends conventional belief systems. As an accomplished entrepreneur, facilitator, international keynote speaker, and best-selling author, Kay is not just a thought leader, but a guiding force navigating the complex terrain of self-awareness. Kay's podcast, Inner Voice of Knowing, serves as a beacon for those seeking clarity and connection in their journey of self-discovery. With her unique blend of shamanic energy, sound healing, and accurator master life coaching, Kay empowers women to reclaim their self-worth and take charge of transformative change. As we embark on this enlightening session, let's open our hearts and minds to the insight that Kay Doran is about to share Reminding us that the power to change resides within each of us. So welcome Kay Doran on stage. So yes, Kay, you need to start from the beginning because we, uh, we cannot hear your voice from the beginning. So yes, good luck. Thank you so much, Melinda. And don't you just love <laughs> the flaws of technology? So I do apologize for that. And I really appreciate that beautiful introduction. So yeah, I'm Kay Doran and I'm a shamanic leadership life coach. And as I had started previously, and I'm starting from the beginning again, don't you just love when you're starting a journey and you get in the car, you don't really know how to get to the destination of where you're going to end up. You just key in where you're going into Google Maps and you sit back and you drive, you enjoy the journey. And the minute that Google Maps says, 100 meters turn left we don't question it we just trust that google maps is telling us exactly what to do where to go and we know that we're going to end up in that destination well i'm here to tell you that we all actually have a powerful gps system within us and that's called the inner voice of knowing that has three pillars or three components to it. It's the inner voice of knowing, power, and potential. And in just a moment, I'm actually going to explain what that means and how that we can harness that to achieve the aspired results, not only in our personal lives, but our professional lives, and how it can help navigate us through change. And change is what is required in order for us to get to the other side of our comfort zone. So now I'm going to invite you to trust me just for a moment, because I know that you've been listening to some phenomenal speakers. And in doing that, that means that you're here. Your energy has gone into your mind. You've been taking on concepts and information. But I don't want you to experience my speech, my talk, and the information that I share from your mind. I, I quite often say to people, feel with your mind and think from your heart. So if you could just trust me for a moment, we're going to shift your energy into the heart center and into the now moment. And after we've done this very quick process that you can use any time in life, to bring yourself into this place, I'll explain what we've just done. But now, just trust. So place your hand on your chest and just put a little bit of pressure. And what you're going to do is you're going to breathe in four words. So you just say those words in your mind. I am here now. And you're going to hold that breath in the base of your belly as you say those words in your mind. I am here now. And as you breathe out and drop your jaw, again, the intention and what's held in your mind is, I am here now. We're going to do that three more times. I am here now, holding it, 
dropping the jaw and releasing that breath, I am here now. Two more times. I am here now, holding that, dropping the jaw and breathing out, I am here now, last time. I am here now, holding that breath in the base of the belly, dropping the jaw and breathing out those words, I am here now. And thank you for trusting me. So as a shaman, for me, we are all soul first and energy. And that when we harness that, that truth that we are soul and energy first, which is backed up by science and tapping into that inner voice of knowing, that is what guides us within our physical actions, responses, thoughts and emotions. So that process that I've just taken you from has taken your energy into the intelligence of the heart centre. And again, science has backed this up that there is a miniature brain within our heart that sends more messages than what the brain sends. So by doing that, you have brought yourself into the here and now, the only moment that exists. We've unharnessed you from, from past or projections into the future and brought your energy presence into the now moment and into the intelligence of the heart. When you're in the intelligence of the heart, you're actually amplifying and tuning into that inner voice of knowing. Powerful. Very, very powerful process. It's also very calming. Now, if you use that process for three minutes or more, whatever words you choose to harness, the four words, I am here now, or if you're in a healing state love, compassion, understanding and forgiveness, you are actually feeding that into your subconscious. Now, the inner voice of knowing your GPS in life has your back. It sees the big picture. The inner voice of knowing has those three pillars or those three components to it. The knowing is that voice of source whatever you'd like to call it. The power component is your voice from the soul. And after all, you are soul and energy first. The soul has come to experience the physical. Don't you want to know how to fulfill or what it is you're here to do to fulfill that soul's purpose? And then the potential component to this empowering voice within that we all have is the potential. Now listen to this one. That is your future successful self that gives you the aspiration, lose the weight, write the book, start a business, whatever it might be, that aspiration that just seems to come out of nowhere because that future successful self is saying, come, you're already successful. Let me show you the way. Now, for those of you that are thinking, oh, what about intuition? Words have power. Now, if you close your eyes and you say intuition, it feels very ethereal. It sort of floats around you. I don't know. Everyone says it's a whisper. No. This is your voice of knowing power and potential. Feel that stake in the ground. Source, soul, successful self. Do you feel the groundedness in that? Your GPS in life, when you get to sit back, like listening to Google, and you don't question, because I don't know about you, but when I'm in that car and it says, turn left in 100 metres, I don't go, are you sure? Am I really meant to? You sit back in trust, in faith. You actually sit back in knowing that that GPS and the directions that it's giving you even if you don't know that current terrain that you're in, which is why you've got that GPS on, you trust it. So feel those words in a voice of knowing, power and potential, source, soul, successful self. That's a powerful voice. Now, I've had it all my life. It has been so loud. It sounds like me. It does not speak like me. It will use your words, etc. But it tells me, take that opportunity, write that book, 
do this keynote speech. And all I know is it is always telling me exactly what I need to do, even if I don't understand it at the time. And you have that voice too. And I've been working with people for over 34 years, and I can tell you now from personal experience, when you remove the noise and the rubble of what's holding you back from dialing into that voice, everybody, everybody says to me, oh, my God, that voice is so loud. It is not a whisper. It is loud. It may be a whisper for you because it is lost in the rubble of your subconscious false stories and beliefs. Now hear that again, because words have power. If I was to say to you, your false, your subconscious beliefs, you've just put a stake in the ground again. You have established that, that that is a belief, which means you harness to it, which means you need to gather the information to validate that belief as truth. No, don't get caught in the sticky spider's web of illusion. But when you change your language to powerful words and call it for what it is, your subconscious false story or stories and beliefs, you have just called it out for exactly what it is. You start to defuse that and you are then given the choice to go, you know what, that is a false story and belief. And if for those of you that have children, you'll know that your children can come running to you and so-and-so said this and the other said that and you can sit there and just listen to them and thank you for telling me, thank you for telling me, thank you for telling me. And everyone's calmed and they go back outside and run and play. When you call out your false stories and beliefs as I'm not good enough, I can't do this, I don't know enough, and the list goes on and on and on, when the, you call that out instantly as my subconscious false story and belief, you are calling it out for what it is and you start to defuse it. And what do you do with it? You put it into the passenger seat and you stay in the driver's seat of your life. Now, it may travel with you for a little while. I don't know if you've better, ever been on a road trip and someone that just keeps talking, keeps talking, eventually that will subside. The more you call it out, for what it is and the more you align to the greater truth and you know what the greater truth is that exists within you because it is the exact opposite of that false story and belief. You're already changing your energetic frequency and you're dialing more deeply into and quietening the noise like tuning into a radio station you are fine-tuning so that you can hear, sense, feel, begin to get to know that inner voice of knowing, knowing power and potential. And the reason that you need this is because when you have that aspiration for change, which means you need to move beyond the current comfort zone that you're in, which means that you're going to need to change outdated programs in the mind that have been running those false stories and beliefs you need to update your system you're going to need to change how you move through the world how you respond to the world how you react you're going to need to upgrade your emotional system in order for you to take inspired action and put yourself into the energetic resonance and frequency of that which you aspire to. Because just thinking about being in that is not enough. Just visioning that end result is not enough. Just saying that you're going to be there is not enough. You need to become in the now moment, that which you aspire to. And to do that, because you are actually designed, that subconscious is designed to pull you back to what is familiar. You may not like being there, 
in stress, frustration, overwhelm, feeling lesser than, whatever it might be that anchors you. But you sure as hell know how to do that really, really, really well. You don't yet know how to do that next upgraded version of yourself that is required, that is being called up, that's come from that aspiration, from that inner voice of knowing power and potential. You don't know what that's like yet. You have to become it, which means turning your vision inwards, being reflective, calling out those false stories and beliefs, tuning in to the heart intelligence, being present in the now moment so that you can hear, see, and know that inner GPS that guides you every step of the way. And the more that you tune into that, the louder it becomes. So you're calling out your false stories and beliefs. You're then going to align to that which is the opposite of. You're going to start taking action. Your goals are soul aligned because it's come from that inner aspiration, from that inner knowing. Remember, aligned to source, soul, successful self. Which means you've got that inner driver already to achieve that because it's not a goal that's come from the mind of I should, I want, or that's driven from inner expectations that are anchored in those false stories and beliefs that have been fed to you from outside sources and the perceptions of the lenses that you wear. So eventually, like a double elastic band around you, one that's holding you and anchoring you to that which is familiar and the one that's pulling you forward and calling you to stretch beyond the way you currently know yourself, one of those elastic bands is going to get incredibly tight and you're going to feel the pressure of that. Your subconscious false stories and beliefs are going to come into play. Fear will arise and here's the mistake. Everything has a right to be seen, heard, felt, acknowledged and validated, but not necessarily as the voice of authority in your life. Just like listening to the child, yes, darling. It feels seen, heard, validated and off it goes. You've diffused the emotion of where that child was because that's all we need. You don't buy into it. You recognise it for what it is. So here's the thing. When those fears, when those doubts, when those insecurities, when all that old comes out to play, you need to understand the terrain that you're travelling through and how everything is communicating to you, supporting you to move you forwards. So you go, okay, I have started moving towards my aspirations. I'm moving all those false stories and beliefs. I'm taking new inspired action. I'm in the process of change. I'm in a terrain I don't understand. And this is why it takes courage. I'm turning my vision inwards so that I can see what's been holding me back and attuned to that powerful GPS internally that leads you towards success in life and ultimately business. So when the fears and those excuses come up, you go, oh my gosh, I'm at that precipice of change. It's trying to pull me back. Don't suppress it. Be aware of it. And then there are processes that you can use to defuse those fears. Because when you're traveling from one side of how you've known yourself to be to the other, and there's that big leap, fear and faith travel side by side. Uncertainty and certainty travel side by side. Where we get caught is when we're trying to separate them, get rid of one, move it to the side or suppress it, and that's when you create the cavern that you feel that you fall through and then you feel like the victim to circumstance and what's taking place in your life. But when you understand that terrain that you're travelling through and when you take this approach, because remember, 
perceptions are false. They are the lenses that we wear, that we filter through those false stories and beliefs. And it creates the reflection. Because ultimately, the universe, if you like, science has proven exists within you. Therefore, the universe exists within me and you exist within the universe. The universe doesn't care what you want. The universe is reflecting back to you on the movie screen of your life how you think, feel about yourself. So I call you to move into a different state using the breathing, using this understanding of perspective where you see the bigger vision. And the more that you do this, the more that you also wake up every day knowing that the component, one component of that successful um, GPS guiding mechanism within you is the voice of potential, which is your future successful self. Wake up in the mornings and say, what would my successful self do? Ask that wisdom. When you don't feel like getting up in the morning, when you don't feel like doing the task, what would my successful self do that is called to me that gets me to that end result? She would get up and she would go for that run. She would get up and she would do that task. You are igniting within you by aligning to that inner GPS. And remember, you don't need to know the how. Just like when you're sitting in the car, you don't know how you're going to get to that destination. You know that you're going to get to that destination because of listening to that GPS. But if you keep saying to yourself, I don't need to know the how, you're going to keep thinking about the how. So I invite you to amplify that voice, to guide you through life from the version of how you know yourself to be now to that self that is calling you into a future now successful moment. Thank you. That was really a wonderful presentation, uh, uh, Kai Doral. So he really inspired so many audience and it's really um, some of the words really cast and drew the audience um, um, attention to, you, uh, to your presentation. Thank you so much uh, for sharing the wonderful uh, presentation uh, with the YWI and IDS Pro Summits today. So yes, uh, I think definitely there is, will be a question for you. So yes, uh, Shruti, can you please uh, go ahead with your question? Thank you, Melinda. How do you nurture your spiritual well-being and what role does it play in your decision making is the question from our audience. How, how do you nurture your spiritual well-being? Yeah. In, in every thought that we feed power into, but, but you know what, here's the key. At the beginning when I was talking about that process, you know, the heart intelligence breathing, Here's a key, because every day we have an opportunity to take a thread out of a rug that we've woven that, that's full of muddy colours, let's say, you know, all those false stories and beliefs, all that lesser than, all those things that hold us anchored to the past or fears projected into the future, and taking a new thread to weave a new rug. But here's a beginning. Love, compassion, understanding and forgiveness for yourself that then you can extend to others. And in each moment, choosing what expands my energy in decision making. Does this expand my energy or does this contract my energy? And that's a really big question. So I'm just trying to give, you know, some very simple um, responses to that. But in, in developing our spirituality, it is a daily process and a daily choice. 
But if you can live from love, compassion, understanding and forgiveness, if you can call out those false stories and beliefs, and if you can then develop that and extend it to others, uh, then all spiritual concepts for the remainder of your life will continue to deepen and expand but not change. And if you can accept the fact that you were born worthy because you are a divine spark of the whole of the source of what is, ever has been and ever will be, then you're on the road to success in achieving that spiritual empowerment and freedom, if you will. Wonderful. Uh, that's a, a, you know, very insightful answer. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this session being here on a global platform on Win Ideas Pro Summit Virtual Summit 2024. So thank you so much for your time and it's an absolute honor to have you here. Yeah. And thank you very much for the invitation to be here and thank you everyone for giving me your precious time. Okay.